channel today we will solve the problem to print path from root to a node in a binary tree so print path from root to given node in in a binary tree so what we will be given will be given a tree or rather a pointer to the root of the tree and an integer say x so wherever in the tree the node x is there we have to print the path from root to the node x suppose node x is here so we have to print this path one suppose these are the nodes one two three four five six and this is x here so we have to print this path one to two and two to x so the output will be one comma two comma x so we can return it as a vector so this is the problem statement so how are we gonna do this let's understand that so basically we, we have to traverse through the binary tree starting from the root and we will traverse through all the nodes of the binary tree and we will check if the if the node value is x or not right and and it is sure it and it is given that x will be there in the tree and each node in the tree has a unique value so it's not that x can appear multiple times or any node for that matter can appear multiple times so one will be ex uh, existing exactly once three will be existing exactly once in the tree and so on and so forth and the same holds true for x also so x will appear exactly once in the tree and we have to find the path to x so what we will do is how our solution will work is we will iterate through the nodes of the binary tree using a depth first search solution and we'll see if the value of of the current node is x is equal to x or not so sub, first we'll come to one right this is the root node we'll see if the value is equal to one or not it is not equal to one so we will keep a temporary vector to store the path current path so we'll store one here now we'll come to the left child we'll see if three is there or not it's not there but still we will store it we'll come to four we'll see that it's not there we'll still store it after that it's it's the leaf value there is nothing there so we'll backtrack and we'll basically remove four from here we'll come to three and when when we are backtracking we'll remove the the node from our temporary vector we'll come to three and then we'll move to the right child of three and we'll see whether this is equal to x or not since it's not equal to, still we will insert it and and we will uh, iterate to the left and right uh, child of this node 5 since uh, this is a leaf node and it's not equal to x we will just backtrack go back here and uh, 3 also we have visited 3 but didn't find x so when we are backtracking we will we'll pop it out we will go to 1 we will go to the right child we will push to here now we'll go to the left child we'll encounter okay x is there so we have found this path 1 comma 2 comma x in our vector right temporary vector so we have to return this so as and when we encounter the value x we have to return that particular path so this is how our solution will work now how to stop further modification in our vector temporary vector once we have encountered x so that for that we have to think of some logic for example after we have encountered x we'll store it here then we'll backtrack we'll pop out x right we'll we'll go to 6 we'll insert it then we will backtrack we'll pop out 6 then uh, we will pop out 2 then we will finally we will pop out 1 also and then return so this this vector will ultimately become become empty if we do if we do not add any logic to not modify this vector after we have encountered x so once we have encountered x there should not be any update update or delete uh, you know addition or deletion of any of any element in this vector so that is what we have to think about so for that what we need to do is once we have once we have encountered the value x right if x is equal to equal to nodes value then we will just return true 
in the helper function and that will ensure that we do not do further modification in our vector node so it will become clear once we start writing the code so let's start uh, let's write the code for this solution suppose uh, suppose if first we will initialize when we will declare one vector answer so this will store the path and if root is null return answer empty this will be an empty vector if root is null we'll just return it integer b is the element given to us to compare and so this is the this is the node which we have to to which we have to find the path so we'll call the l helper function here we'll pass a we'll pass b and we'll pass answer and finally we will return answer the whole idea is the helper function should give us the will insert the node values in this answer vector so that we get the path to the node b so tree node pointer root and then we have b then we have vector int and answer if root is null simply return false otherwise we will push back the current value in our vector if roots value is equal to equal to b that is we have encountered the element or the node b then we'll just simply return true now if if helper roots will just roots left b comma answer if or if the this condition basically checks whether the element b is present in the left subtree of the root or not and will also check if the element b is present in the right subtree of uh, the root or not if it is there then we will simply return true otherwise we will pop back the value this is basically backtracking so we will ba we'll backtrack the roots uh, value from the answer vector and return false now we'll submit this and there is an error so b it says not defined in cpp 11 okay this should be int b and success the test cases are successfully run now we'll submit the code yeah so we have successfully run the code and it has accepted all the test cases now we will understand the time complexity and space complexity so the time complexity is in the worst case we will be visiting all the nodes in the binary tree and the hence the time complexity will be or big o of n where n is number of nodes and the space complexity in the worst case will be equal to it is equal to the height of the recursion tree because here we are using a recursive function helper and uh, we need a recursion stack to store the values intermediate values so the height of the tree can be uh, at, at max uh, uh, big o of n in the worst case so that is our space complexity so time complexity is big o of n and space complexity is big o of n 
so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you so much